I'm so excited to receive input from Stony Run on different method to fix Coroplast, and I have to try it. This is the first time I tried this fusion method. I sandwiched two sheets of Coroplast, each six millimeter thick, between two pieces of plywood. Then I apply heat to the end. I allow about half an inch of coalplast sticking out from the plywood, as you can see here. The goal is to melt the coalplast and have sufficient polypropylene there to allow two sheets to be bonded together. I turn the assembly sideways so you can see better what's going on. As I apply heat, the polypropylene seems to be spreading out. Therefore, I use a piece of wood to confine its location. We we'll have to wait for the corpus to cool down before I try to remove the wood piece. Otherwise, the polypropylene may stick to the wood and when I pull it out, it will damage the joint. When the top piece and place a body to the bottom piece and I realize that the bond surface between the top and bottom piece are very small and I don't feel comfortable, it will create a very strong bond between the two pieces. Therefore, I reheat the joint and line two pieces together. The melted polyene behaves like glue. It holds two pieces together in the middle. Again, I wait for the corpus to cool down a bit before I attempt to peel it off from the plywood. There's excessive corpus on the top side, which is okay. The bottom side is very smooth, and I really like the joint at the bottom. I try to pull two pieces apart. I'm surprised the joint is so strong, and compared to glue, Usually it will have a, a little bit gives, but not with this fuse the joint. The joint at this size is very smooth. I will trim off the excess plastic on the top side using a cutter. Firstly, I stack two layers of corpus, one on top of the other, and then I apply heat. After it cooled down, I can bend the corpus into 90 degrees or even 180. But then the area being attached together are limited to the edge. Some people call this as a living hinge, which I indicated in blue. Then I try again. I stack it together and I apply heat again. I started rotating the corpus along the living hinge, which is in blue. As I rotate further, it squeezes the excess polypropylene out from the gap. And then I trim off excess polypropylene. Both sheets are nicely bonded together. As you can see, I can bend the jointed pieces. The, the amount of bending is not consistent due to the joint. The joint is made up of a solid piece of plastic, and if I force a full line across the joint. Firstly, it's very difficult. And also, I'm afraid it will crack and it will not be reliable. This fusion method is very useful. Let's say I have a 40 inches wide corpus and I create a bolt. At the side, I have 10 inches. And at the bottom, I have 28 inches. I use the up all the 40 inches. And if I want to create a round 
gunnel like my 10 feet can do. I can feel a strip of corpus on the edge and then I roll it backward to create a round gunnel. The best part of this fusion method is it's very easy to do, easy to control, strong. As far as I can see, it's watertight and strong. Using a similar idea, I may come up with another method of fusing the corpus. Say I have two pieces of corpus and I have extra piece of corpus there. Basically, I'm trying to use it to create sufficient polypropylene so I can weld two pieces together. And then I apply heat. Then I jam two pieces together. I'm going to give that a try today and I will post the result in the part two of this video. Again, thanks for your support and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please do, so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.